Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. First of all, I would like to say that um, this is one uh, nice video from Nabil Qureshi. Um, uh, he said one, uh, he, he highlighted one uh, nice points uh, regarding uh, this, uh, this topic uh, of, or, uh, about uh, Hatama Nabi. And uh, some other Muslims uh, uh, really can, can learn about this, uh, this uh, issue, what Khatam Nabin really means. <laughs> because uh, Nabil Qureshi is an is a, is a ex-Ahmadi, he really knows what it means. Uh, he has been taught about that very well. I don't know really how he could uh, come back to, <laughs> to Christianity after knowing all these issues. What took him away from Islam to Christianity? Uh, but something else, he forgot to mention something else because he did uh, one tricky thing uh, on the end of his video when he said that uh, that we Ahmadis believe that uh, Jesus will come after Muhammad Sallallahu Yes, we do believe that Muhammad Sallallahu is Hatman Abin, is seal of the Prophet. He is the greatest of all prophets and through Muhammad sallallahu seal every other prophet um, after him has to come so he has to be a Muslim so basically and regarding the second coming second coming of Jesus what Nabil forget to say is uh, how we uh, Ahmadis believe that uh, that second com coming of Jesus would be a second com coming of uh, uh, Elijah through John the Baptist. So, second coming of Jesus won't be an original Jesus. Uh, that would be um, that would be uh, somebody else in a, in a, in a, in the same light as Jesus, uh, first Jesus, of course. So that is what uh, that is what Nabil Qureshi forgot to tell you people. So really, you have to forget to remember this point. We as the Ahmadis, do, we do not believe that original Jesus will come but somebody in the light of Jesus and that guy uh, who, who was supposed to come in the light of Jesus we believe that is Mr. Ghulam Ahmed Ali uh, he already showed that uh, Mr. Ghulam Ahmed Ali already gave some proof, proofs about that about uh, um, moon and sun eclipse in the month of Ramadan this is some other issue if you, if you, I can talk about that uh, thing uh, some other time but this was very important uh, I think and about this Hataman Abi, he really gave you the Muslims, he really gave you a lesson what that Hataman Abi really means and how we Ahmadis believe Hataman Abi is the seal of the prophets so we do not believe that Muhammad Sallallahu is last prophet and uh, if you really think about what that means, last prophet, you, you, you really think then uh, how Christians believe it. The Christians believe that Jesus is, the, is, is last, uh, then uh, Jewish, Jewish people that believe their, la their prophet is the last prophet. So that is going on and on and on. So every religion has a uh, uh, right to say, oh, all prophet is the last prophet. And by basically you you sealing the, God forbid, uh, Allah's uh, mouth when you say, oh, yes, Allah is uh, listening, but he's not talking anymore to us. What kind of nonsense is that? Allah is talking to us all the time. Of course. And then think about something else. If you believe that Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is last prophet, there is no more prophets after him, then how you can believe that Old Testament and New Testament, Old, Old Testament actually, was able to produce so many prophets uh, uh, during uh, that period? And now you believe that Quran is a lot more powerful book. It's not able to produce a single prophet after uh, after the demise of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Think, Quran as a summarize of all holy books, of all uh, as a uh, revelation of all the revelations in history. And you believe that uh, that book is not uh, able to produce any more prophets after after death of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Yes that book is able to produce more and more and more prophets people who are spiritually raised up uh, above any other man 
so that they are, they are able to receive revelation from Allah. Of course, we do not believe that anybody will able to change Quran, same as we believe that Mr. Ghulam Muhammad didn't come to change Quran, same as Mr. Ghulam Muhammad believed in the same as what he, what he claimed. Everybody else who come after Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, he is he is over here as a follower. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.